I've made a number of decisions and I want to run through those for you. First of all, from 6pm tonight, uh, I am declaring a state of uh, disaster across Victoria. This will be in addition to the state of emergency that has operated throughout. Uh, this means that uh, police and others have additional powers. Beyond that, uh, the stay-at-home restrictions for Metro Melbourne will be enhanced. There will be additional limits uh, to the four reasons to leave home. You will no longer be able to leave home or go any further away from your home than a five kilometre radius. You will not be able to be at any point more than five kilometres away from your home for the purposes of shopping for what you need. Only one person will be able to go shopping once per day and they will need to secure the goods and services that are what you need uh, within a five kilometre radius. In terms of exercise, recreational activity is now no longer uh, allowed. Uh, you will be allowed to have uh, uh, one hour of exercise no further than five kilometres from your home. The uh, third area of change for Metropolitan Melbourne is that under those state of disaster provisions from 8pm tonight a curfew will be uh, implemented. So there will be a curfew across Metropolitan Melbourne from 8pm this evening and it will run from 8pm to 5am each and every day. From uh, Wednesday uh, we will move to, uh, to flexible and remote learning for all students in all schools right across the state. So what that means for Metropolitan Melbourne is the Year 11s and 12s will go back to learning from home. Uh, special schools will remain open for those who really need to be in those settings. Uh, and uh, the children, the students of parents who are working, uh, they will be able to go to school and be supervised, but it really will be only those that are absolutely necessary to do so. These restrictions will run for six weeks. They'll run out until the 13th of uh, September. Six weeks uh, versus a, a slower strategy.